credit to, to the Tampa. I thought they did a nice job, obviously, of creating an early lead. Um, I thought it was an ugly football game. Um, obviously, not happy about our uh, penalties, not happy about uh, our turnovers. And uh, with all that being said, I mean, with all that being said, you know, nine penalties, four, four give, giveaways, and we have, you know, it's a one score game in the fourth quarter. So, you know, we have to, we have to find a way to overcome that and uh, build off of the, the competitive nature that we seem to have. But uh, at the same time, we have got to become a better football team in terms of uh, playing cleaner uh, football this week. So. Matt, what can you tell us about Christian McCaffrey? I don't know anything right now. I know, I know he came out. He came out in the first quarter at one point, and then uh, just at the end of the game, they said he was out with a lower leg injury. Um, I don't. So I haven't seen the doctor yet to tell me you know, where he's at. So he was just he was he was down, and uh, we were playing the rest of the way. Matt, do you know if the first quarter deal with him was the same injury? You know what? I I, I don't know that. Um, he went down, and then he said, you know, he was right back. So you know, they just they literally just tell me up or down. I'm sorry, I don't have more information uh, than that. But that's uh, you know. Um, I guess it was, it was third down. He pulled himself out, um, and then uh, came was quickly back in. So, um, going at the end, they just said he was down, and we just rolled the play. Now, were the the turnovers just the difference in the game today? Yeah, it was uh, turnovers, and um, uh, you know, I think the really really costly penalties. You know, um, a bunch of third down stops that uh, that hurt us. Uh, the, you know, we, we had I, think we, I don't know how many pass interference, couple pass interference, hands to the face. Stopped him on third down on the, I think the second drive and, and had a, a, a you know a landed on the guy, so th th those are like the, I think that's four or five drive continuing penalties, and you know there's there's no chance of there's no chance of winning you know uh, when you have that. So uh, the, the, the key to me in the first half was their their third down. You know they were six of eight I think on third down. A lot of those were penalties, or a lot of those that, that didn't even count the penalties, and. Um, I thought we got played a lot better in the second half on defense. I mean, they got put in a tough position to one, and uh, the first drive they went out and answered the call, held them to a field goal, and then um, you know, kind of at the very end of the game, seven point game, they're selling out, running through gaps, and just unfortunately sprung loose. But uh, you know, had had a chance to win the game. Matt, hey Matt, uh, Steve Reed from the AP. How how, how difficult the decision was it to uh, whether to go for that onside kick or just kick it away, given your defense had played had played better in the second half. Um, you know, uh, we thought, we thought about that. I guess the key for us was if you go for the onside kick, you know, it's, it's, it's two chances to get the ball. You know, we have a kick that we really like. We thought we had a chance at it. And if not, we still thought we were going to stop them. Um, we had stopped them so well leading up to that play that, you know, we, we, we figured we would do the same thing. And, and then, you know, we, we get the ball back like a minute left and drive 90 yards. So. Instead of uh, you know knowing that it was down to one, sorry, the water truck. I mean, instead of going down to you know, instead of it being one shot, we thought maybe we give ourselves two shots and we'll, we'll try to make a play. Matt, what did Matt, you just see from the lack of pass rush again today? Only one quarterback hit, still no sacks. Just what? Did, what? Did, why do you think there were issues there today? We played a lot of three-man rush. Um, you know, they had a lot of control passing game, um, get the ball out of their hands quickly. But uh, I'd have to really watch the tape. You know, we need we need to have more pressure than that. So I thought in the second half, about the third quarter, Brian Burns came alive and uh, was really playing a little more like an outside linebacker, dropped and making some plays in in, in, in out of space. Um, had one key quarterback uh, pressure, but um, you know we had to go a little bit more of a blitz mindset today to to get pressure on Brady. Matt, uh, Teddy had 300 and what, 67 yards passing, but 200 of them came only in the fourth quarter. Can you just talk about how he started with the turnovers and then how it turned around in the fourth quarter? Yeah, I, I, I thought Teddy was under duress um, too much of the day. Um, you know, we knew that they're a pressure based defense, um, but too often he, you know, they, they, were, they were getting their hands on him. Um, you know, the, the, the first screen, he's trying to throw it over JPP. Okay, we can live with that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I thought Teddy competed. And, um, you know, there's going to be days where, you know, where uh, where you just kind of can't get things going quite to the level that you want as an offense and as a team. But uh, I was proud of the fact that he just kept pushing it, kept pushing the pedal, and, and, you know, got us back in the game. I mean, again, you know, to have it be that ugly of a game and 
have it be seven points, you know, with, with a couple minutes left. I mean, um, I, I think we see competitive toughness. We just have to execute way, way, way better. Matt, to, to that end, philosophically, do you emphasize now the positives or, or do you kind of, you know, press the, the need to, to fix the negatives from this game? I think uh, my philosophy has always been just to try to tell the truth, you know, um, find the good things and, 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 and build off those, get rid of the bad things and, um, you know, just, you know, and just emphasize the bad things and then just move on. I mean, we, we're doing some good things, uh, some things need to be fixed. And um, just just be honest about those. And I think when you have that, you know, that mindset, you can be consistent, you know, throughout. The, the, the main disappointment for me is, you know, to be an offense that didn't turn the ball over last week to now turn the ball over, um, you know, four times this week. I mean, that's just such a sharp, drastic, you know, uh, change. And then to have only five penalties last week, two of which were on special teams, and then have, you know, have so many this week. Uh, and they were really hurtful penalties, and they were on third down. I mean, that, that really makes it hard. So... Again, the, the positive message is, guys, you know, it, it, we made it so hard on ourselves, and yet we still had a chance. It's like, if we clean all this stuff up, we have a chance to be a good team. Um, but you know, that's that's a lot of that's a lot of ifs, and we have to we have to work at it to get get ourselves there. Hey, yeah, Matt, guys, to the point guys, of having guys, guys, Joe, Joe, point. Joe, we have to let we have to let Coach go. How about one more, please? Yeah, Can we get a real, couple real more in there, Preston? We're, real, Matt, we have Matt. to get him going, Joe. You can ask your one question, then we'll end it. You, you were talking about Matt having a chance at the end, even after the onside kick. What happened with the breakdown on the long four net touchdown? Yeah, I mean we're we're in, we're in the same defense we were playing last week against the Raiders. I mean it's all one gap. I mean we stopped them last week. It's a simple inside play. The, the ball split. Um, I can't even tell you what you know. Who, I can't even tell you who got out of gap. It's all one gap football. I mean it's all you know. It's almost uh, it's one of those deals where you're like it's kind of impossible for that ball to get through there. But credit to them, they made the play. You know, but. Um, you know, the, the, the chart, the, basically on the chart, you know, Joe, if, if you, you had two timeouts, you get the ball back, you get the ball back with a minute left, right? And no timeouts, but still a minute left. And, and uh, that's what Teddy's good at. So, you know, that's why that's why we went for the onside kick, because you, you knew you knew you were only going to get it back with a minute left, no matter no matter where you were. But, um, but that yeah, that was that was the thought process. And so if that ball split, you know, obviously um, was, uh, was kind of a, a, a dagger. All right, Coach, we appreciate you taking I, I got Dave. Let me answer David's question. Okay, go ahead, David. Yeah, you've been really, thank you very much, by the way. You've been really high on Mike Davis uh, all preseason. What did you see about out, out of him that, that gives you encouragement moving forward if you have to be without Christian Free? Well, Mike's a good player. We know he's a good player. I thought he, I thought he caught the ball and, uh, you know, I thought he caught the ball and, and made, you know, got turned up and made some good plays. Um, it looked like he blocked a lot of times. He missed one on the one sack, but, but, uh, but you know he was a threat coming out of the backfield, so you know we, we know Mike's a good player and he's a veteran player, so we'll uh, we'll count on him and uh, we'll, you know we'll wait and see what happens with Christian. I'm real hopeful, obviously that he's he's out there, but uh, but uh, Mike's Mike's a good player. We know we can count on. Him. All right, Coach, we appreciate you taking the time. Thank you guys. Oh. Thank you so much.